Okay, good morning, y'all. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning. See? Okay, how, what's on that seat right there? That is pounds <laughs> of batteries. All right. And whose are they, y'all? <laughs> whose is that? My tent. It's your my tent. stuff. Well, wait a minute. Let's see your pack. Your pack's all puffed up. So why is your pack all puffed up? It looks big. Because I got my sleeping bag all puffed up. So it looks so cool. You, that's an illusion, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a magician, too. So y'all got it. So Hulk is not a purist, purist, okay? I just wanted y'all to know. Not today. Not today. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Day 156, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure. So Fresh Ground just dropped me back off at the Waya Tower parking area. Thank you, Fresh Ground. He's actually going to pick me up at Winding Steer Gap in like four hours. It's 9.9 .9 miles away. I might be there a little bit before, but whatever. And today... I actually left my batteries, left most of all my food, left my tent and my tent poles in Fresh Ground's van. Usually, I never ever slack pack without my tent, but today I'm like, whatever. It's 9.9 .9 miles. Looks like I'm going to be in the rain most of the day. So, yeah, it is what it is. I feel a little empty though inside, I'm not gonna lie. Leaving my tent, that's like my security blanket. Because if I got hurt, I would be able to set up my tent, get in my sleeping bag and be fine. But now I've got this weird feeling that I don't have my security blanket. So if I did get hurt, I'd kind of be in trouble. Not too big a trouble because this this trail crosses over a few different roads. So if I had to crawl or limp my way to it, I would get out. It's just a place my brain's going because I really don't like slack packing, uh, but it's 9.9 .9 miles in the rain. So yeah, it is what it is. And we're going to Chica and Sunset's Hostel tonight. Last time I was there, it was amazing. So I'm expecting the same time or same thing this time. Yeah, I love Chica and Sunsets. They're great people. And I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I'll touch back with the cool stuff and the views just like I do. I might have to get my umbrella out to keep my phone dry though. Whatever, I still got that. All kinds of color blazes. The blue blazes go up here to this campsite. And these yellow blazes are for the Bartram Trail. 
the AT and the Bartram Trail link up for a quick little minute. This is where it's, it's over. So now we're just back on the AT, which is perfect. And um, these rainy days, I guess it's not really raining that bad, uh, but the cloudy, no view kind of day is where my mind starts wandering. I figured it out, it's these days where I go deep into my brain. It's a good thing, I guess, but sometimes I wish I wouldn't go there. Like today, I'm thinking, after I get done hiking today and I stop at Winding Stair Gap, it leaves 110 miles left of the trail. So, I mean, realistically, if I did 20s every day, I'd be done in six days. My last day would be like a 10 mile day. Uh, unless I did the approach trail, then it'd be like a 18 or something like that. And I can't help but think of how fast this trail goes. I mean, it's literally, when you start hiking this trail, you're like, oh man, it's gonna take forever. But before you know it, you're 110 miles from the end. And it just, it goes fast, everybody, get ready. Uh, it may seem like a long time when you're out here, but when you close in on the end, man, it just seems like it went super fast. And this is the longest through hike I've ever done. This will be the longest one. And it still did not last long enough. So am I ready for it to be done? Absolutely not. I am not ready for this hike to be done. And it's pretty much stopped raining. I don't even know why I'm carrying this. I'm carrying it more to keep my lens on my camera dry and clean. But no, I am not ready to be done hiking on the AT. Um, but I've said it before, all good things must come to an end and we are almost at the end, everybody. Six days, if I did 20s every day, that's not gonna happen. I don't want it to be done that fast. I'm gonna mosey and take my sweet time to the finish line. Uh, actually, it'll be seven days, because I'm gonna zero tomorrow. <laughs> but whatever, you get the point. It's, it's close and I'm not ready for it to be done. So, yeah. And I'm undecided whether I'm gonna go to Maine real quick when I'm done, or if I'm just gonna go ahead and do the Benton Mackay Trail while the weather is still kind of decent, and then go up to Maine for a little bit after I'm done with the Benton Mackay Trail. I have no idea, no idea what I'm doing. That's the way I live my life. I just have no clue from day to day. I just make the best of every day that I have. So, yeah, let me spin you guys back around. I gotta let go of my umbrella to do it, which is kind of tricky. So yeah, look, I'm rambling. Four minutes, six seconds of nothing but nonsense. That's where it came from, down those stairs. And it's kind of strange now that I've been uh, traveling roads more on the AT. My first couple hikes, I didn't go into hotels and I didn't do all this stuff that I'm doing now. Uh, but I do remember this from this morning. We drove up here to Waia Tower. It's kind of cool to like cross a road and know exactly where I'm at now. And now we're going up this set of log stairs. Yeah, so this is where we're going. Up to Siler's Bald, which the view up there is usually amazing, but I'm not even gonna bother going up there today, I don't think. It's kinda like when I went through last year. 
<laughs> it was raining on me. This whole section I've been rained on more than any other section, I think. From Franklin to the NOC. It's usually just rain for me. But whatever. It's still beautiful. And I guess you can't have rainbows without rain, right? All right, everybody. Snowbird Gap. This is where you would go up to Siler's Bald. I'm not going up there because you can't even see the top, let alone get the views. Siler Bald Shelter is this way. The AT goes this way, baby. Downhill to Franklin, or Winding Stair Gap is where I go into Franklin usually. I've never went into Franklin where I did last night at Wyatt Tower. Yeah. It's very rare oh, uh, that people go into Franklin at Wyatt Tower unless they know somebody around the area or get lucky enough to get fresh ground to take you back in. But yeah, down here at the bottom of this mountain, the Winding Stair Gap. Oh is where people usually go in. Man, I can't hold my phone. It's all slippery. I wonder why. Yeah, winding stair gap, baby. Here we come. All right, everybody. If I had to guess, we're about two miles away from winding stair gap. I've had my umbrella out pretty much all day. Sometimes I probably wouldn't have needed it, but it keeps my phone dry. It keeps me from cleaning the lens off every single time, which is nice. And it's a great feeling when you're two miles away from like a town stop or something. It's like, oh yeah, we're close. I'm still really dry, which is a good thing. Oh, and I can't wait to get to Chica and Sunsets uh, to actually do some real laundry in a laundry machine. Yeah, I haven't done laundry in a washer and dryer since Irwin <laughs> at Uncle Johnny's. Other than that, I've just been doing it in the shower at the hotels. The Mike Hotel, the last couple hotels, they didn't have laundry service. So, yeah, you're stuck using, I like using shampoo other than bar soap, but they both work. I mean, just soap it all up, wring out all the dirt and grimy grime, and then repeat and repeat again if necessary. <laughs> so, a real washer and dryer is going to be nice I might actually get some fabric softener uh, the dryer sheets to make my clothes smell good because it's always nice when they smell good usually when you take your your clothes out of the washer and dryer they smell good for a minute and then I don't know what it is like you can do nothing and by the end of the day they start smelling stinky again I think it's just so deep into the fibers of the fabric that you know, it takes a while. Yeah, maybe I'll wash my clothes twice. I, mean, I got two days. That sounds like a great idea. Wash them, then wash them again, and then dry them. Two cycles. Try to get some of the stink out of this stuff. Cause right now it's embarrassingly stinky. But that's part of it. The amount of blowdown on this trail since we left the Smokies, it's kind of unreal. I don't think anybody's coming out and doing trail maintenance. They've gave the green light, everybody. 
You'll be okay coming out and doing trail maintenance, I promise. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, yeah, they're just, what's happening is everyone's going around it and it's just tearing up the whole side of the mountain. It's been like this for, oh, ooh, since we left the Smokies. Jeez, well, it slipped. Yeah, you can't go through it. You got to go around it. And now the trail is just getting super wide. But it is what it is. We always find a way around it. But it'd be nice if it was like cleared out of here. I'm not talking about this kind of blowdown. This is, this is a piece of cake. It's the blowdown where you can't get over it and you can't, you have to go around it. Yeah, the green light for trail maintenance has been given a while ago. I wonder where everyone's at. Usually this part of trail is really good, but not this year. Never fails. The sign always makes me laugh. Swinging lick gap, everybody. Every time I see that sign, it makes me chuckle. <laughs> it's the kid in me, I think. I don't really know. But it's hilarious. I don't agree with defacing any kind of property. Uh, unless it's your own, then you can do whatever you want with it. But that one's kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. Winding stair gap. Made it. And I'm still carrying my umbrella. Actually, I just put it away. The farther down I dropped, I got out of the clouds. And I didn't need it anymore. So, that's always good to end the day without having to use an umbrella. So, yeah. We are at Winding Stair Gap. We're almost to the road. More blow down. This is easy to get over though. Not complaining about it. It's just part of the trail. All righty. Let's get to the road, baby. We are back at Chica and Sunsets. I love this place. I love the special touches. The A is the AT sign. They nailed it. Look, shoes over here. I just kicked mine off over here. Let me, jeez. Some people can't follow directions. <laughs> Chica and Sunsets Hostel, everybody. This place is great. Look, full kitchen. Yeah, loving it. Look at this cool board that people signed. I'm sure if you pause it, you'll be able to find a lot of people's names on here that did YouTube. Pretty sweet. I like this little special touch too of everybody that helped out, either donation or labor wise for this hostel. This place is amazing. This Appalachian Trail map, look. We're almost done, baby. Almost to the bottom. Breakfast, shuttle back to trail. Bathroom. Oh, check out what's cool. Hawk support team sticker, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. So, two other people in this room. Ooh. The privy, the AT privy thing, poster. <laughs> Same room as I was in last year. I love this room. Not all wander who are lost, or not all who wander are lost. I guess you could say it either way. Cool posters, look. They even got cool stickers that are on the bed. So you get a sticker too. Right now I'm just doing laundry and uh, 
I've actually got some Hawk support team members coming here to pick me up at 6 o'clock and take me out to dinner, which is awesome. I know, I look different in loner clothes. <laughs> Whatever. They're clean clothes. My clothes were nasty, so I'm glad they're finally getting washed. And now I'm just hanging out here at Chica and Sunsets, waiting for dinner time, baby. So, yeah, Chica and Sunsets, they are great people. And this hostel, I tell you what, I'm about ready to sit in this. This is a massage chair, everybody. So I think I might sit in that and get my massage on. Ooh, look. I better stay out of that. We all know what happens. Oh, look, they even got more. Oh, this is cool. The books that they've wrote, it's pretty awesome. These things are cool. These little bracelets. AT, it's like a penny. These are cool. I'm not gonna lie. Toilet paper, Aleve, ibuprofen, Benadryl, hand wipes, Snickers, hiker box. These are cool. Evan's backpacking, I'm pretty sure did all these pictures. Pretty positive of that. Ooh, and I just noticed the fridge. I've got yogurt in my room. I better hurry up and eat it before it goes bad. So, yeah, we're just waiting for dinner time, baby. More Hawk support team members coming out of the woodwork in Franklin. So, feels good. And I can't wait to take a zero day tomorrow. So, I'll touch back later with end of the day recap and everything else like I do, but for now, I'm just chilling. All right, you guys, end of the day recap, day 156. We left the parking lot, the paved footpath by Waya Tower, which is 119.3. And we're now sitting at Winding Stair Gap, US 64, 109.4. Makes it a 9.9 mile day, everybody. A 9.9 .9 mile, wet, cloudy, no view heaven day. <laughs> but whatever. We're in Franklin at Chica and Sunset, which is a great place. And I got to give a huge shout out to a brand new Hawk support team member, Ernie Burfitt. Actually paid for my night here tonight at Chica and Sunsets. So, thank you so much, Ernie. I appreciate it more than you know. And, everybody, Christy and Billy, well, Billy and Christy, Christy and Billy, the Ledfords, uh, they actually came to Chica and Sunsets and snatched me up and took me out to the Root and Barrel restaurant, which was delicious food. They paid for my dinner. And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to see them again really soon. So, huge shout out to Billy and Christy Ledford, Ernie Burfett, and Fresh Ground today. Oh, <laughs> and everybody, let me find it. It's right here. Uh, so, uh, I when I got to Chicken Sense, I knew I had a package here. And uh, I've been kind of waiting on this. I was going to get it at... Uncle Johnny's and Irwin, but with shipping, there was issues with shipping. Anyway, check it out. The Garmin InReach Mini. <laughs> and the backpack tether to hold the Garmin InReach Mini. So uh, this Hawk Support team member wants to stay anonymous for this little gift here. Uh, They've helped me out a bunch in the past. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. You know who you are. And I appreciate this. This is huge. Uh, yeah. This thing is going to make tracking me down super duper easy, everybody. And hopefully tomorrow um, I can get this whole thing set up. Uh, I'm going to need help because I'm not that technology savvy. But I'm pretty sure... Chica and Sunsets will give me a hand setting this up. I got to get a membership for it. Um, 
and all that. So hopefully I can get the inReach Mini working tomorrow. If not, it's going to be set up very, very soon. As soon as I can figure it out. So huge shout out to the Hawk Support team members today. They're, you guys are losing your mind helping me out so much. This is insane. Like today alone, we got Fresh Ground, Ernie, Billy and Christy, and the Anonymous, the mini inReach, baby. So, yeah, that's a wrap for the day. And you guys know tomorrow I'm going to take a zero day, and I go live on my zero days. So tomorrow at 7 p.m. Franklin time, <laughs> whatever time that may be, I'm going to go live. So, yeah, day 156, 9.9 .9 miles and I hope you guys had a great, great, great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby. So, till then.